Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. I am in the great city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at Panera Bread because they have three mac and cheese on the menu and I wanna see which one is the best. Let's go in there, grab all three bowls, small of course, come back here, try them all and see which one's the best. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you doing today? Good. I, I would like to try all three of your mac and cheese is small. Because you only have the three, right? Oh, what's the fourth one? I know about the Baja, the barbecue chicken, and the regular. And bacon mac and cheese. I'll have to do all four of them. <laughs> all right, awesome. Gotta try them all, right? And they all come with a baguette chip or apple. So let's do a chip. Apple up and to the baguette first. Is that the best? Oh, yeah. Is that your favorite? Yeah. That's your favorite too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I could get it every day, I would. <laughs> and your name for the order? Ken. Ken, perfect. There you are. Thank you. So there's a little your name right around the corner. The okay, thank you. Enjoy. I will. Thank you. We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I finally remembered to bring my little cutlery set, uh, but chances are I only need the spoon today. So let's get that out and ready. I gotta get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. All right, guys, so I'm glad I asked her or said it the way I said it, because I said, I want to try all your, all three of your mac and cheese. And she's like, well, we have four. I'm like, cool. All right, we're all set up. Uh, I did two baguettes, the chips, and an apple. I probably won't eat that right now. It'd be like a good snack later on. This will be a good snack later on too, but uh, we got to try them, right? We're gonna make sure that the chips, I love kettle cooked chips. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or disagree with me on kettle cooked chips. Just listen to kettle cooked chips. No? No, my friend? Wow. The crunchiest chips you can buy, right there. We'll try regular first. Get out our trusty spoon and start eating. So the regular mac and cheese is $6.99. The bacon mac and cheese is $7.59. The Baja is $7.59. The barbecued smoked chicken is $7.59. So just the regular one is uh, like 70 cents cheaper approximately. So there is their creamy rich mac and cheese. Both ladies in there said that the bacon one's the best. So I can't wait to try it. I can almost see like uh, butter infused in that uh, cheese. So it's like probably butter. Oh, look how steamy that is. So they use the uh, little shell shell noodles. Let's just get right into it. Quit squaring around. Mmm, very crit rich, very creamy. The noodles are not overdone, hot. Wow, oh, oh. That's lining the stomach big time. So $7 for that and this or an apple or chips. I think I'd always pick this over the other two. You just want some bread. If you want like a nice little light uh, lunch for $7, I guess just eating this and that should be okay. And you got your water. Let's try the bread. Mmm, it tastes fresh. If you've ever worked at Panera Bread, let me know if they make this in-house or not. It tastes like they make it in-house. It's super fresh. It smells like a bakery right now. It's nice and soft and yummy. One more scoop before we move on. <laughs> Next up is the Baja Mac and Cheese. Wow, that smells so good. And she said it's like a pico de gallo. So like tomatoes, onions, and then they put also some avocado on there. Let's get into that. This is, when I saw this on the website, I'm like, 
That's a really odd combination. I'm hoping it's good. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of avocado, a little bit of the pico de gallo, and uh, one more piece of mac and cheese on there just to round it off. Not bad. It's just, um, I'm thinking, like, again, I'm a mac and cheese with ketchup on it kind of guy. And then all of a sudden somebody does something a little bit different. Your, your brain is saying, no, that's not going to be good. It's all right. Hmm. I'm liking that. It's nice and light. Hmm. That's good. All right, next up to the plate, pardon the pun, I guess I could say bowl, uh, is the barbecued chicken and mac and cheese. And I'm going to see if I can... It looks like they've got uh, little onion crisps on top. You can see the onion crisps. Let's get it. Wow, look at the size of that chicken. I'd cut that up a bit smaller, you know. Just break it up because people are going to be eating this with a spoon. All right, let's get some mac and cheese, some onion crisps. I need more mac and cheese. We've got some uh, barbecue sauce on there once again. I never thought about putting chicken or barbecue sauce on my mac and cheese. But let's try it. Mmm. It's all right. It's my least favorite so far. The barbecue sauce is kind of killing this mac and cheese. I, I, again, I'm a ketchup guy on my mac and cheese. And I don't know, this is just a little too sweet. But the chicken's good. Nice little slice of chicken. Not too dry. Check that out. Close up. The chicken's dynamite with the barbecue sauce on it. But it get, get it out of my freaking mac and cheese. All right. Last up is what the lady said is the best one. I watched the lady behind the counter putting this all together. And uh, she put all four bowls out, put the exact same amount of mac and cheese in each bowl, and then they just put the toppings right on top. They didn't mix it all in. So, like, if you I start digging to the bottom, you can see that there's no bacon at the bottom. You have to stir it in yourself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do that on this one. Probably I should have done that on all of them. That would have been maybe a good idea, but I didn't have that good idea then. I just realized now as I was explaining stuff to you. But the girl said the bacon one's the best. So let's get into it. So I got some bacon stuck into my spoon already. Oh, it's still steamy. I'm glad that I'm getting them all when they're super hot. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. I've been known once in a while to put hot dogs, cut up hot dogs in my mac and cheese. I'm moving it up to the next level with bacon. It's not bad, but I think I'm more of a, just a straight up mac and cheese guy. If I want mac and cheese, I just want mac and cheese. Let's do another bite. All right, so out of the four, I'm of course 100% partial to straight up mac and cheese. That is my favorite. Uh, but if I came back again and uh, I was gonna order, if I wanted something different than just straight up mac and cheese, this is actually really, really good. And I keep smelling it over the other two. And this is, this is definitely the one I think I would continue to buy uh, when coming back to Panera Bread. Mmm. It's so different. All right, guys. On my rating scale, I'm going to have to give Panera Bread's mac and cheese a go out and get it now. Plus, it is amazing mac and cheese. Love the noodle choice that they chose. Uh, this the mixture of cheese to butter and probably cream in there. Uh, very rich, and I really enjoyed just the mac and cheese throughout all four of them. Uh, but again, the barbecue would be on the bottom of the list. I probably would never order that again. Uh, then it would be the bacon. And then uh, probably the regular mac and cheese and then the Baja mac and cheese would be my number one thing that I'd order again at Panera Bread. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a member. The link is over here and you'll get your name and the credits of all my videos. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit the playlist. It should be right around there. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, da, ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic food review. Ken Domic out. Because they have three. Come on. Start. Go. I got two of my baguettes. Baguettes. So we're gonna put one, two, 
All right, next up to plate. <laughs> out, of, out of the three, out of the four, sorry. Out of the four, I'm actually liking the, the behind. The, the behind. Ha ha. Ha ha. 